hello and welcome to my wild fan life. Van life, I hear you say. I'll be honest, I absolutely hate the term van life, but it's the only way to describe my life right now. Because <laughs> I'm living in a van. Um, <laughs> but I will get used to it. It's, it's slowly getting better. I'm slowly getting more like fluid when I say it. At first I was like van life, but now I'm like van life. Own it, van life, because that's what it is. Van life. Welcome you to my van life. Why did I want to do this? Because if you've watched my other vlogs and filming and series, you'll know that I just like to inspire anyone to follow that beautiful calling in your heart. And the other point to the series is, but just share this journey with you. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a very, very lovely journey with a lot of heart and meaning behind it. And that's the point. And I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get on with it. Ah. Ooh, in the back, ooh -hoo. There you go, a little cheeky sneaky peek. Now, I don't know if you saw the front of the van, but this is a Ford Transit medium top roof. And I love Fords. I've only driven them when I've been moving house, but I've always loved driving them. I love driving vans. I think they're great. And they're so practical, like the adjustments of everything. They've got like proper cup holders and stuff everywhere and bottle holders. They were made for being used. Oh, I love that. Oh, just practical stuff in general makes my heart sing. But you know, you're like, someone's put thought into that. I love that. So instead of sitting in the van, my dog has just sat out in the rain. Eric, are you okay? Oh, here he comes. Woo, buddy. You gonna come say hi? Oh, there's the Eric. <laughs> Go under. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the van. So this is the cabin, the cockpit. This is where the driving happens, obviously. <laughs> my seat right here. <laughs> Let's go into the back. I'm gonna pick up my things now. This is into the back, that is the chair squeaking, not me. Um, <laughs> but when I got the van, it already had this rock and roll bed fitted into it and it already been insulated, which was fantastic. It saved me such a good job um, of having to do that. I'm just gonna come down here, some of the light a bit better, there you go. Uh, so it saved me the job of having to do that. I'm super lucky, like super, super, super lucky that my dad is very handy and very skilled in carpentry and building things. So the plan is he's currently building some shelves to go in here, a shelf to go up here, and he's gonna put in a kitchen unit to go around there. And we have a fridge that slides in and out. But I'm very fortunate and very lucky that my dad is very skilled and he's just helping me with this. And my mum as well is gonna help. She's gonna make some curtains as well for it. So very lucky to have supportive parents. So thanks, thanks mum and dad. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty, pretty chuffed with it. But I will show you more. Okay, so we're just at the back of the van. As you can see, the doors, the barn doors have been insulated and the back of it's insulated. And it's got this lovely space under the rock and roll bed, um, which is really handy. I'm gonna put my paddle board there and organize it a bit more once I get everything for it. And the rock and roll bed on this side can come down. So if I want to, I can have a little sofa out the back and watch Eric. <laughs> I've always wanted a sofa where I can watch Eric. Haven't I, Eric? That's always been my dream. Uh, but yeah, I can sit out the back here, my feet up, cup of coffee in the morning, just enjoying myself. So I'm pretty chuffed with this. Um, but yeah, it's incredible. The people I got it off, I don't know if they'll ever see this or not, but they were so lovely, like super lovely people who have done a lot of um, camp finding themselves. They gave me so much advice. They gave me loads of like extra bits and items for the van. Um, they were so kind and there's something said about like, when you meet kind people and they're just like so gifting and lovely it like it changes yourself I know it sounds weird um, but it makes you want to be the same and I just feel like if everyone did that little bit of kindness each day this world would be such a different place but yeah I'm probably gonna get some shelves or something for the 
doors or I put a cork board up. I don't really like this varnish here, but I might paint over it in um, blackboard paint so I can use it to write on as well. So that'd be quite cool. So that's the van. I hope you like it. Um, it's still a work in progress, but it's perfect. Like I, I feel so blessed to have it. So it's uh, a yeah, run happy lady. So I've got loads of bits to arrive still. I've got a few items which I'm going to show you, which hopefully will help. If you're thinking of getting a van, there's a lot to think about. I will talk to you about the different batteries I've got in here as well. I don't get it all, but my dad's going to talk me through it. <laughs> and then I've got a hookup as well. So there's a few bits I need to learn before I tell you, because I don't want to look like an idiot. And also, <laughs> I've got to learn how to use it. So I will do that first. And then I'm going to take a test trip up to Snowdon or Snowdonia. And I stay there for maybe like five days or something. I'm going to test it out with everything kitted in it. And I'm going to see how I feel, see how it works, see if I can put a system together, do some tweaking if I need to. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I will be over the pond to Europe. But I will talk more about that in the next episodes to come. Uh, but I'm very excited. Uh, <laughs> it's so hard to keep it contained. Okay, so now you've had the tour. I hope you like this lovely lady. She's a beautiful van and I cannot wait to get going with her. But yeah, why a van and why now? I'm 30 and I decided to buy a van. <laughs> I have never been one that's been away traveling. I went to school, I went to uni, I went to work and I've just worked, worked, worked for years and worked hard. It's always something I've always done. I've always worked hard in everything I do. And it got to the point where I was just like, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I living like this? Why is it, shouldn't, it's, it shouldn't just be all work. And I've always had in my heart this calling to travel and have adventure and explore. That is who I am. It's fundamentally who I am. And it's in my core, but I can never do that. And that was because of relationships, being held back, um, life and jobs, like everything, just putting my dreams on hold and other things coming first. And it wasn't until a few years ago, I had some things in my life, which one changed a lot for me, but also five months ago, a lot happened for me again. And it was, it was this massive wake up call. Like, don't get me wrong, it was this hardest, one of the hardest moments of my life, but at the same time, one of the most beautiful moments, because amongst the chaos and the hardship and the hurt, loss, pain, blah, 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 I found me and it's the most like liberating feeling ever and that's the only way I can describe it. It's like breaking free from a cage and like you're just life begins now and that's what it feels like and when people go to you life begins at 30 you're like yeah it really bloody does <laughs> and if you're someone who's always put everyone else before yourself if you have this calling in your heart to travel to like follow your like wants and have adventure and just have that sense of, yes, wanderlust in life, then do it. That'd be my best advice to you, is just to go and do it. And I promise if you just have a bit of patience, put in the work and keep believing in what you want, you will, you will follow it, you will do it. And that's what's happened for me. Everything that's happened had to happen for everything now to happen. And that's my point. And that's why I wanted to do this. And I firmly believe in that because it hasn't let me down so far. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a magical feeling. <laughs> I've literally, over the last five months, worked my ass off, saved my money, and I decided to buy this beautiful van. And I'm gonna take my dog, Eric, he's off wandering somewhere in the forest. I'm gonna take him away with me. And that was part of the reason I wanted a van, because amongst all these hard moments in my life, my dog has been the most supportive little rock, little soldier, little angel, anyone could ask for. And I literally want to take him around the world. Uh, so just trust in life, trust in your journey and just have a bit of faith and hope in yourself. And I promise it will work out, it will. And on that note, I shall get going. Uh, but yeah, I will see you next time. Hope I can talk more about what's been done in the van. And I'll show you more of the adventures on the way. <laughs> All right then, goodbye for now. Bye-bye.
Hello and welcome to my wild van life. Woo! <laughs> okay, top's falling down. Kind of boobies out on YouTube. Not that kind of lady. I got very lucky with it. And actually, it was, uh, I was looking for vans and I called up a local garage. I was like, oh no, and I hate shopping. Like, do you know anyone selling a van? He's like, I might do. And this is it, this is the van. I love it. <laughs> just groovy. I just kick something, I don't know what. Yeah. Feel, feel, feel. Hold that thought. Hold it. Hold. Get all these cables. 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 Too many cables. And I will go into more detail. Yeah, and I will go into more details a little more later on. A little more later on. And I will go into more details in a little bit. And I will go into more details. I've said this about five times and I keep getting tongue twisted. Uh, I will go into more details about this. And I will go into more details about this in a little bit. And I will go into... 